Hey everyone, so today I would like to talk a little bit about uh, a certain Chrome plugin that's been making the rounds across Roblox Twitter, especially among uh, more high profile content creators recently, and that is Rose Searcher. So the plugin, what it does is essentially it just allows you to find a player that's in a game and join their game, uh, no matter whether they have you blocked, whether they have you unfriended, um, whether they have joins enabled or disabled, it just bypasses all of that and just lets you join them. Uh, and so I wanted to take a look at how the plugin actually works and also maybe to suggest some changes that Roblox or content creators might be able to do in order to sort of mitigate uh, some of the damage that might be done by it in terms of stalking YouTube creators just to get into videos and things like that. So without further ado, let's jump into it. So the tool that I will be using today is something called CRX Viewer. Now CRX is the name of the file extension uh, for most, if not all, Chrome plugins. And it basically breaks it down into the base JavaScript as well as the other files. Now this might not be completely 100% accurate, but it seems fairly reliable from what I can see. And all the things sort of make sense to me. And bear in mind that I'm not the best at JavaScript either. I'm still learning myself but I can sort of pick apart the code uh, somewhat. So the main function that we're gonna be looking at here is the on submit function, which goes pretty much until line 61 from line 21. Uh, and the main thing that we're looking for is how does it find the players and what does it use? So one of the very interesting things is that it requires an input and whether or not it actually is a valid username. And the, the first function that it goes for is these two right here, down here, which is get ID from name and get avatar. So if you get for the get user ID from name, that just returns a function or that just returns the user ID after you uh, plug in the user's username within this URL. So for example, if I were to put in my own username right here, so ninja master 999 and I press enter, that should return my profile, uh, which has my user ID in the URL. Uh, now, if I, let's say, put Kaneko Kitten uh, was taken, uh, that would also return with uh, the proper user ID. So that's how the user ID is identified. Now, with the user ID identified, we can go into the next step, which is to get the avatar which as you can see in right here requires the user ID and curiously enough it uses this URL which I really haven't seen anywhere else but all it requires is the user ID itself so let's say Kaneko Kitten right so we copy this user ID we paste it into the user ID um, right there and then we hit enter and we are returned with a 48 by 48 PNG uh, avatar uh, with this specific URL and the reason why this URL in particular is very important is because that is what is used to identify the user. So it's not actually the specific user clothing or how they look, but the actual URL that is returned uh, with uh, the server list. So once we have all that, then we can go into trying to find the player within the server itself. So one of the things that um, is actually used as well, as far as I can see, is that it requires the player who is trying to search um, to be searching in the same game as the, um, as the game that the other player is playing on. So the way that it gets the place ID is very simple. It just gets it from your URL. So when you're on the Roblox game page, let's say, for example, I go into games and I say that I want to find someone who is playing Jailbreak it'll find the player or the rather the place ID uh, from the actual play button, which if you go into inspect element, it should give you a little bit of information in regards to that. Uh, I'm not actually sure exactly where it is. Uh, looks like here. Yeah. So that's the specific place ID that is uh, in there. So now once we have the place ID and the user uh, avatar, we can go into the final step, which is to actually find it. And so we have something right here, which is another Roblox API, uh, which basically returns an entire list of, uh, which re returns an entire list of players um, that are, or player avatars rather, that are playing within a certain place. 
So we can actually go into jailbreak right here and copy this place ID, place this into the place ID box. And the start index is just wherever you want to start. So most uh, coding languages start at zero. So that is where we will start as well. And as you can see, even though the user IDs are hidden from us, um, user ID zero and the default name is just a Roblox player, we can actually see that the URL for the avatars are all visible to the client. So what I believe uh, the plugin actually does is that it just loops through all of the available servers and tries to identify a URL that matches, so this specific URL right here, so the uh, Roblox Content Delivery Network uh, and the avatar picture, the 48 by 48 headshot picture with the one that is returned when you try to search for a username. So that is pretty much how the plugin works as far as I know. Um, as for some of the steps that uh, content creators can take, uh, one of them that I would recommend is to probably create an alt account, which has nothing to do with your primary account. Now, the only problem with that is that you have to go through a lot, a lot of things to be really careful about not revealing that. And as soon as that alt account is revealed to be one of the accounts that you use, um, it's sort of a dead account to you because players will probably be able to search for that account uh, whenever you're recording or streaming um, and just follow you. Uh, much like your regular account. And the other thing that they can do, as uh, many uh, content creators already do, is that they just play on VIP servers, in which even if you are able to try to request to join the place, if you do not have permission, you probably won't be able to join. Now, as for what Roblox can do, um, I think some sort of streamer mode, as many content creators have pointed out, would actually be very, very cool if you were able to maybe sort of mask this avatar uh, from being shown, then that would be honestly a pretty good way of uh, hiding people because that would take away exactly how the plugin works, which is just by identifying the same URL from here. But that's going to be it from me today. What do you think about Rose Searcher and what do you think about any possible solutions that you might have? Let me know in the comments down below. And as always, my name is Mac and Swiss, the most Asian brony on the internet, and I'll see you all next time.